Darkness could not have been any more real to me than it was during Holy Week last year. My family and I were in the hospital, praying for enlightenment that we make the best decision on how to go about my father's heart problem. I was experiencing personal difficulties of my own, asking for a sign if my decision to break free from a relationship was the right one. Never in my life had I felt so lost, so pained, so alone, so blinded by darkness. Yet my family stayed together. I kept myself together. We held on for about a month more before dad was finally discharged from the hospital, braving a quintuple bypass operation. I kept firm with my decision and braved through it with inspiration from my father, my family, and all of those, some of those are here, all of you who prayed with me. And like the days after the resurrection, I had my share of miracles, apparitions, unexpected obstacles, and minor persecutions. Still, I remained with unwavering faith that the answer will come. Looking back now a year later, I realized that everything happened all at the same time for me to finally put to rest an old self that had been in pain for so long. There were a lot of things I held on to then that I thought I couldn't live without. But it came to a point that I had to muster enough courage to leave it all to God, to be patient, and to just believe. I will be forever grateful for the darkness of that period in my life. For without it, my Easter would not be as resplendent as it is today. That's fallen, that's what I am. Into pieces, a thousand fragments broken by every shattered dream and every time I fail. Every word of anger, each time hate prevails, and the glass can cut like nails. Still, you pick up these jagged pieces, though they wound you with pain and
Broken be.